Wow. You guys are wow with everything. What do you think, brother? I think it's alright. Oh my god. It has pockets? Oh, you look like a cool bride. <laughs> You have no idea. And Tiffany says Paul is waiting for us right now at the altar. I'm getting married right freaking now. So that's what he thinks is happening, but it's actually a lot more exciting. So we are gonna sit on a couch, okay? And we are gonna watch something happen. We're gonna we're not even gonna do any work. We're gonna sit there and watch Tiffany try on wedding dresses. I knew it. You, you knew, knew it? it. Oh, you knew how'd you know that? Then I'm getting smarter. <laughs> <laughs> so Tiffany, here's the thing though. Do you know what kind of dress you want? Do you have a style in mind? Do you have any requirements for your dress? <laughs> oh. You want a fish tail? It's like fish the mermaid tail. style You know what fish tail is in it? No. You never eat them. Uh. They're really good. You know what's interesting though? So if you guys don't know, I actually went wedding dress shopping like a few years ago and then I... <laughs> had a wedding so so we're gonna live through this <laughs> we're gonna live this through tiffany like yeah. i'm not crying you're crying but i will say when i did go wedding dress shopping i thought that i wanted this i was like i want big poofy it's my day i want big big poofy i end up going wedding dress shopping and my favorite was the complete opposite. My favorite was like a silk, very simple, like just all tight, not dramatic. Yeah, that was like, and I still think about that dress to this day, but it doesn't look like I'll be wearing it anytime soon. With that being said, we're gonna go wedding dress shopping and I just wanna say, I feel like I'm a really good entourage. I feel like I'm a really good picker right now because I have been upgrading my style. And you know what, wedding dress shopping and shopping for your wardrobe is very similar. I'm just trying to build and buy pieces that I feel like are gonna last me a very long time and they're gonna have like that timeless look about it like they're not boring they look refined they look chic just like how Tiffany doesn't want to look back on her wedding photos and feel like her dress feels old I don't want to look back at pictures or videos of me in 2022 a few years later and go why am I wearing that? So, my favorite place to go right now has recently been Love Bonito. They started in Singapore. They're like a complete global brand now. Like, they're freaking killing it. But anything Asian founded, I'm like, and every time I go on their website, I'm like, wow, everything looks so chic, but it's not boring. Okay, so for example, this set is from Love Bonito, and I have been looking for a set like this to wear to the airport to like lounge around in and all the time. Like this billowing, of the top it just makes it look so sleek and it looks like that casual effortless but the material is incredible it's like this high quality material it doesn't pill but they have so many other options like if you don't like loungewear they have party dresses workwear intimates maternity clothes outerwear a ton of outerwear but my favorite part is just how flattering and feminine all their styles are they have these simple silhouettes that you think oh well anyone can do that but love bonito the way that they make their clothes, they have these really comfortable, crisp, clean cuts that just accentuate all the right parts in your body. You feel and look like a million bucks, but it's pretty affordable, it fits your budget, and you look polished. And I love that they're so consistent about being chic and timeless. I love all the color options that they have. Like, if you get a blouse from Love Bonito and you get a skirt and a pair of pants, you can just mix and match them. It's so easy. Like, other brands, sometimes I'll buy a blouse and I'm like, I don't even know how to wear this blouse. That doesn't even match with anything. But Love Benito even has sets that are so put together like this one. So if you're looking to look and feel elegant and refined, Love Bonito is the place. So upgrade your closet with clothes that are made to fit you with Love Bonito. For my amazing viewers, I have a special promo code to unlock. Love Bonito's secret Black Friday sale. If you go to the link in my description and use promo code LBX Miss Mango Butt for 15% off your first order of $140 or more. And new customers who join the LB Community Plus will also receive a $15 off welcome gift card with a minimum spend of $40 from now till the end of December. 
which is December 30th. Thank you, Love Benito, for sponsoring today's video, and this is my fit to go wedding dress shopping. I'm sorry, Tiffany, I might steal the show in this. I'm <laughs> just kidding. We just got to the first place and I'm nervous. <laughs> Why am I nervous? But I am excited that I don't have to change so many times. I remember after every single wedding shop that we went to when we were wedding dress shopping, I was famished. I was exhausted. It's, she's excited. She's running ahead of us. Paul's not watching this video, by the way. We're gonna kill him if he does. He said he want me to take pictures. <laughs> what the fuck? That's okay, he went with me when I was wedding dress shopping. I say as if I had a wedding. So you usually like tell them the styles and then they'll pull some and then from there, well at least my experience, and then from there they'll like grab other things and stuff. Do you feel like the bride? I don't know, that's what you do. <laughs> How do you feel in there? I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's really pretty. You guys don't think this one's pretty? I mean, but what do I know? I... <laughs> no? Okay. It feels like I'm going to home come here. Oh. <laughs> this? Do you like this? You keep going back to this. I know. You want this one? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think oh, this? Oh, this is cute. Oh, yeah. That's you can just pull it off the beat. No. <laughs> she's in trying on the first one. I think all the dresses are gonna look beautiful on her. But when she comes out and she's like all smiley, I'm gonna be like, that's the one. <laughs> Meanwhile, brother over there, legs crossed on his phone. Does he even? You're like the worst entourage right now, honey. Do you think you'll know when your little sister has picked the right dress? One day you're gonna do this with your sister. Maybe not. <laughs> she said, wow! Wow! Oh my gosh! Actually, yeah! Very clean and very classy. You like it? You look so elegant. And it fits so well. Your waist looks. Oh, really? Oh, the back. <laughs> At all. How do you feel? Yeah. No, I just really like it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Very clean. And you have a really pretty neckline. She does. Yeah, so it's like really pretty. Then, then, what do you think? Personally, yeah. I didn't like the plain. Yeah. I didn't like the flower. He said you gotta get the lace, but. This but... Is, wow, you look good. Professional. Professional. What is this? I guess the first one's already amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so good. He's gonna yes. cry when he sees this. Oh my god! <gasps> so zero out of ten. To me, yeah. I already felt really. Hot. Yeah. She said this. Is the okay. One, then. What do you think, brother? I think it's all right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be me on your wedding day. Just frog. <laughs> like fixing it like. <laughs> Oh my god, she said take a photo! Okay, this is beautiful. It's gonna be hard to stop this. I mean, this yeah. is beautiful. Oh, this is pretty too. Mm -hmm. That kind of helps you get the vision. Oh, oh, oh my god! Hey, throw it! Hey, throw it! Throw it! Throw it! Don't catch it! Don't catch it! Ah! Uh, Who are you? Ready? Yes, Practice, you and then wow! You guys are wow with everything. That first one was incredible. Took my breath away. You think this next one's gonna be better? I think there's a better one. Like floral's gonna be better. It's gonna make pretty good. Oh! Ooh! Now I'm confused. I think she likes the first one. Yeah. Yes. Your reaction. I think. Me too. Second one went by quick. What did you think of that one? Yeah. I, I, I didn't like it. <laughs> we didn't even. Oh, like, we didn't do that. Dress number three. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? <laughs> right now, I still need to the first like, one. Yeah. yeah. She just said that she's excited for this next one, guys. There's like lace on the next one, I think. So it's getting closer and closer to what she wanted. Because the first one, she was so against it. She wanted the florals, she wanted the lace. <gasps> Very pretty, they said. Oh yeah, that was my biased opinion. <laughs> I'm so excited! Oh my god! It's, oh my god! It's gorgeous. It's cute. <laughs> she said, "Oh my god! Wow! <gasps> this is pretty too." Okay, this is better than the past two. This the past looks year. very nice with the. A veil. Wow, this one is so pretty from the back. She liked this one enough that we're 
putting on a veil. Wow. This feels nice. This is, wow. She's looking for like a forest. <laughs> it's giving me like fancy Catholic church wedding. All right, next. <laughs> Sir, is that a yawn? Mm. Is that a yawn? <laughs> In one of the most important moments of our lives, is that a yawn I hear? Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Did you just? You're, you're, you're gonna yawn soon. It's contagious, I'm telling mm -mm. you. Whoa, okay. 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 I this one more than the previous one. Yeah, oh, me he's too. Talking. Oh, yeah. oh, he's talking! Oh, he's talking! That was an opinion! I think you have such a good neckline. Having like a strap right there, you know, takes away. This is really good. The tattoo gives a spark. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> They're sleeves! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Love this it. one definitely like I'm sorry I know we're family but I keep looking at your butt ah, this one. so whimsical like it is. you're like a little fairy goddess Bye. 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 so short that one. <laughs> well it's really light though to be honest oh that's good it's very light With all that detail for it it's yeah really light. you like the first stuff me too honey what are your thoughts I like it uh, which one? <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! He said, "Oh, oh he he's said, like oh, this. oh, okay." You know what it is? So it's like combining of the other. Yeah, two. I love this material mm -hmm. on you. You look so good in it. Look at me doing my wedding duties. You guys aren't ready. I'm gonna be the banger <laughs> at the wedding. Okay. In his pockets. <laughs> Oh, you look like a cool bride. Oh, Are yeah, you that's kidding? Cool. That's really cool. <laughs> that's it's like so cool. So much cooler, yeah. Like you're, you're like, you know what? I will marry you for a favor. Really like, like you right? It's so like. Me, I think you should go with that. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I can't believe you're amazed by the pockets. I love it. Random thought. How's she gonna pee? <laughs> It's very you. It's very you. Yeah. What do you mean? Wow, this oh, is really, really nice. pretty. Dendet and I are on veil duty. <laughs> We're practicing. What do you think, honey? It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Walking out to the car and the smell of ramen has infiltrated our nostrils. Dang. Holy cow. This Tiffany, is... I think we gotta go eat some ramen right now. <laughs> oh. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so she says she likes it. She loves it. But since it's also like her first time at a like a bridal place, it's weird to just get the first dress you ever try on at the first place you go to. And we're going to the second place. It's getting cold. It's getting windy. Tiffany still hasn't gotten her voice back. She said, yeah, there's four nice ones. She says, better ones. Okay, I'm excited. I have high hopes for this one. I googled both of them and this one looked a little bit better. These two are exhausted. They want to go eat ramen. <laughs> the vibes are already better. This vibe is already trying to get married vibe. Wow. There are so many dresses. I love the energy in here. It's like perfect for finding a dress. Holy moly, we just got home from the second place that we weren't allowed to film, which I thought was crazy. We just got home and we are starving. So this is a place called Veruni Napoli. Like, look at that pizza. That looks fantastic. Let's look at this pizza. Oh, that's a Nutella calzone. I didn't think it was going to be that freaking big. Are you ready to see me shove this big juicy thing into my mouth? This is like Halloween 2.0. Look at it. It's stuffed with Nutella. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Delicious. Will you wow. move this thing? We got this white pizza. Why is she the cutest that I'll die? We're back from the second place. It's gloomy in Atlanta, so that's why the lights are on and for some reason we look like glowing snowballs of orbs that are yellow. <laughs> Let me tell you, the second place was exponentially vibier than the first place. Like, the vibes were there. Yeah, it's pretty nice than before. Yeah. Can I just say, the whole time that we were wedding dress shopping, Tiffany would come out of the changing room and this was her face. Like, I have never seen a poker face that strong. I used to work in sales, like in a retail store. I used to like, you know, like, would you guys like to look at this? You would have made me cry because every dress she came out on in was this face. For real? And then we're all like, Whoa! bro, you literally stood in front of the mirror and you go, it's nice. Everyone is like, 
What is it's nice mean? And I'm like, you look whimsical. You look like a fairy that just came out of Winter Wonderland and you're like <laughs> flying around flapping your wings and you're like, it's nice. <laughs> but I was dressed so hard. It was really cute, but they wouldn't let us take any yeah. videos, which I'm totally fine with. I am not that YouTuber that's like, it's my God given right to film. It's my first amendment right to film. There's a public space, Karen. Like, I will just not film, but they also don't let you take photos, um, which I thought was so weird because if you're buying a wedding dress, I mean, it's a big purchase and it's a very important purchase. How would you even compare? I think I remember one or two dresses that you tried on there and you tried on like 10 dresses. As a genius, responsible man, oh. what did I do? He took pictures of his crotch. Oh. He sits like that. <laughs> I've never seen him sit like, yeah. But then it's so weird you see him like <laughs> all the way like that in text. I was like, that's weird. But I didn't thought he would take the photos. I got like, you. I don't want to show you guys all the pictures because. I really don't know why they uh, don't let the you take angle pictures. Is funny, huh? But the angle, I have to show you one picture because the angle is fucking hilarious. 50% of the picture are his crotch and legs. <laughs> like this. Can you still see the dress though? Or just the legs? <laughs> it's mainly crotch. I guess you just gotta find the dress online, huh? Oh my god, my. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. It's so warped. Where's Tiffany? I, I, I oh don't gosh. think the dress looks nice. <laughs> it's supposed to be cuter, okay? I know you guys were making so mm -hmm. much comments on every time I step out. Yeah. But obviously, I see some where you're just like, oh, mm -hmm. okay. But which is the most one you were like, wow? The clean, simple the one. one. Or two? Yeah, yeah, number two. Yeah. What did you think, honey? Why are you yawning? What did I, you think? Number two. He, number that's two. what he does the whole time, okay? <laughs> I'm taking pictures of his crotch and yawning the whole time. Also, can I just say one thing, a little bit of a rant? And I actually saw Jackie Ina talking about this on TikTok. She is in a long-term engagement as well as I am, obviously. And every time I tell people that we have been married, or not married, we have been engaged for six years, Everybody assumes it's because he doesn't want to get married. That's such a weird stereotype. Yeah, I was offended at both places. They made it seem like he didn't want to marry me. And it's like, we both don't want to marry each other. I wanted to give you guys a little tidbit because I was intrigued. Last night, I was up reading about horoscopes because I didn't know what type of dress that Tiffany wanted. And so I was thinking in my dumb little head, maybe if I knew her zodiac sign, then I could pinpoint what kind of wedding dress that she wanted because of her zodiac sign. But I looked up a cancer woman in marriage and what kind of a wife she is. Let's see if this fits Tiffany. And then I looked up a Scorpio man. Is that Paul? <laughs> Can I just start with yours because I almost fucking died when I saw this. The first line of this website says, is the Scorpio man good husband material? In case you're the type of woman who wants equality in her marriage, you may want to think twice before marrying a Scorpio man. What? Yeah. That's so not true. He has a lot of power, courage, it's very resourceful, but he needs to be put in charge for this to happen. Okay, are you guys ready? Everyone here except for him is gonna have a aha moment, okay? Oh, oh yeah, they said they're so intense that they're determined to have things done their way. They're obsessed <laughs> with control. Yeah. So they say, <laughs> oh my God, it says, this person can even be a real dictator from time to time. Wow. Wow. Well, oh, oh. What did he say? What? He said I should apply for North Korea. <laughs> Yeah, it says he's a psychic. He knows what you're thinking before you've said something. Don't hide things from him because he will know the truth and discover any secret. That one's true. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. That part is very true. He's very difficult to live with. <laughs> yeah, there's no middle ground with this person. There are two choices when you are a Scorpio man's wife. You either fight him to the death or you just allow him to be authoritative and enjoy a peaceful life. But if you let him be authoritative, this may cause him to lose all respect for you. So it sounds like you want to fight, bitch. <laughs> but it says that he will worship his children and his wife and be loyal like nobody else. He will totally love his family but doesn't know how to express his feelings. When it comes to sex, he will do the nastiest things and worry about morality afterwards. Yeah, it kind of sounds like you, no? Wow. Okay, sorry. 
Okay, let's learn about Tiffany. This is so interesting. We already knew this, but it says that um, the Cancer woman is the best mother and wife in the Western Zodiac because people in this sign are all about family. Is that true, Tiffany? I can yes, totally yes. see that. True. The lady in this sign has most likely dreamed about her ideal wedding ever since she was little. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, no? I guess. She dreams of all the magic that will be in the air at her wedding ceremony. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Deep in her heart, she wants a husband who can make her feel free and wants her wedding to be perfect because otherwise, she may stress that the marriage is not gonna work. Oh, that's probably, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Woo. oh my god, here's a tidbit for us. Therefore, her loved ones should help this lady have a unique and stylish celebration of her union with her other half, an event at which Everyone must have a lot of fun. When it comes to love, cancer women are fragile and gentle. I guess. You're um, fragile? Uh, oh, what I don't do you know mean? about that. Not fragile. <laughs> Heartbreak all the time. Heartbreak all the time. Which one? You break people's hearts. Yeah. Uh, no, people break my heart. Oh yeah? Really? Uh, yeah. Oh, cancers are most likely to get married than not because they can feel very lonely in their own, even if surrounded by friends. <laughs> Family completes your life. Wait, what are you guys? No, it's Sean? Oh, it's The favorite. fish one. Fish? A dolphin? <laughs> no, Paul's a dolphin. That's because Paul, what if he cheats all the time? Like, oh my god. Says, those type are cheating and stuff. That actually is say in China. They said this. One, they cheat so much in relationship and stuff. Pisces? Pisces? Uh -huh. Pisces? Like in China, yeah. they said never date. Worst zodiac sign men to date. Scorpio. Is that you? Is Scorpio the what? best. What? Oh my god, why are you hitting him? <laughs> what? Charismatic and charming, but also deep and complicated. You know, you want to know how deep this guy is? We woke up this morning, okay? And he looks at me with such loving eyes and he goes, Say hi. And I go, what? <laughs> Say hi. hi. To my beard. <laughs> and literally, he wouldn't let me leave the bed until I go, hi beard. And do a little beard too. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, yeah, deep, so deep and complicated. If you can win over the heart of a Scorpio man, you will always have, a, have his love, devotion, and dedication. They are the most loyal of all signs. Wow. <sighs> Dang, the oh last God. one. Pisces is at oh. the end. Pisces men are the most sensitive all, of all signs. This one. Yeah. They tend to gravitate towards people who are completely opposite of them. Huh. This makes relationships hard because conflicts arise when they get hurt a lot for little things and their partner can't relate to their sensitivity. When they find the right person who understands them, they can be a great partner, but most of the time they live in their own world of fantasies, thinking and feeling everything really deeply, that it's too much for most people. While they have good hearts and better intentions, they are painfully guarded and tend to choose the wrong people. Is Pisces man a good husband material? It says he'll always be romantic no matter how long you're gonna be with him. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> always expects poems and flowers and he's gonna express his affection for you every day. It, you may get to experience the most beautiful relationship you've ever had. Wow. Wow. Is that true? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they were on the phone yesterday and he was on speakerphone and at the end he was like <laughs> How too much, you know too much <laughs> Okay, okay, love you And she goes, bye <laughs> I'm like, wait, it's okay But I'll always say that and I'm the one who refuse saying it <gasps> Really? Like, Even if I'm sometimes he'll be like Sometimes I get annoyed so I don't mm. say that but he will repeating it Like, kind of like, you do it yes. too? Yeah. And they're like, okay, fine. <laughs> okay, fine. Do uh. you guys know any Chinese? No, English. Because <laughs> Chinese is just so cringe. But he's, he will say it, but I will not. You not, won't say it? No, no so I will, weird. but not much as he does. Bye! Well, I need. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say that? No, a little different. Why me? Honey. <laughs> Whiny. Whiny. Oh, no, 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 no. Whiny. 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 A relationship with a Pisces man will also be focused on how flexible and generous he is. It doesn't matter how hurt he may be feeling, the man 
born in Pisces will always be the one apologizing first. Yeah, I will make him apologize. Yeah, most of the time he apologizes, but sometimes there will be some fights where it's like he's ready to fight to the death. <laughs> and it's always the stupidest fight. <laughs> we had this giant fight in New York because he slammed his slippers down and I go, shh, we have downstairs neighbors. And we just started like fighting. And at that point, we were probably so much louder with our fighting than his slamming of the shoes. Yeah, I don't know why we were fighting about that one. If you happen to live with this person, expect him to never put things where they were. Is that you, Dendan? No. How's your room? It's all right. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a confession to me. <laughs> okay. He likes discipline and order. Wow, okay. It doesn't seem like he's a bad boyfriend. I don't know where you got that. Like, yes. Cancer is the best. Wife material. Yeah, I also okay, so. heard cancers make really good CEOs. Are, yeah, if they said cancer is more like a family material, mm. like a wife material. So what's the last for uh. girls? Oh yeah, let's look oh, at what the last. Oh, that's oh, so intriguing. Shows. Okay, oh, I know, I know. Let me take a guess. Yeah, I think it's um the one shooting. <laughs> the Sagittarius. Is that, that's, that's me. Not Bro. You. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah. Is it the worst? Yeah. Oh, you're so different. Yeah. So they said that one is like, they always want the freedom. They want to have you so much fun. Is that you? Yes. She wants freedom. She wants yes. to stay home all the time. She doesn't want no, to go freedom, out. No, freedom. Meaning like, she don't want to be told what to do. Oh, if you tell me what to do, I will do the exact yes, opposite. Right. You actually tell her no, to do. No, you think I tell her what to do? She tells me what to do. <laughs> really? Oh my God. <laughs> Worst is a Virgo. Then Scorpio. I see my, my. I don't know. It's not supposed to be on there. Sagittarius is number two. What? Wow. The, really good. Yeah. Sagittarius is her own worst critic and judge. The only rival a Sagittarian woman has is herself. However, for someone special, she would do the exact opposite. She will cheer them on every step of the way and urge them to believe in themselves. She will think of someone she is with first and put aside her needs, which is not a good thing for her. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because like, if someone does something mean to me, I'll cry about it. But if someone does something mean to him, oh my God, I feel rage. I'm like ready to fight someone. And then he's like, honey, I don't give a fuck about what just happened. No, no, that's disrespectful. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you're getting married now. Dun 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 Your brother is gonna give the best oh, speech hey, ever. No. Yes, he Are is. you gonna do Chinese or English? English! Oh, you Honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you then? I have to give speech. Oh, really? oh English or Chinese? English. You gotta do Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Tiffany, I always wanted to ask you, did it hurt when you fell out of the vending machine? A oh. vending machine? <laughs> because you are a snack. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's that's so good. <laughs> Guys, I have to do a vow and we're gonna sit there and cry. And I'm gonna pass around the tissue. Uh, five cents, one piece. Five tissue, cents, okay? yes. And then we go up to the camera. You can buy this right now for $9.99. I can't wait for this wedding series. Um, You know what I can't wait for? Listen, you don't have to include me in any other part that you don't want me to be in, unless you want me in every part. But I really wanna be a part of cake tasting. Cake tasting? Because when you choose a cake, these Does bakeries- people really eat those cakes? These Bakeries give you like 20 different types of cake and like tiny little Wait, bites of cake. I thought those wedding cake is just for decoration. No. Not really people eating it. People eat it. I don't know if it's an American thing or a Korean thing, but my cousins did this, like Nyla needed it uh -huh. too. But you keep a whole section, because you know how it's tiered. You uh -huh. keep the top section, the smallest section, uh -huh. and you freeze it. And on your one year wedding freeze anniversary, it. you eat it. You take one bite. You can still eat it in one year. Yeah. Hey, it's fire. Yeah, but you freeze it. So it's like ride or die. You either die together or you keep living together. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, are so, you an ice sculpture, he said. Are you going to have a celloist? <laughs> are you going to have Beyonce? Thank you so much. Thank you. You should have BTS. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe you should ask for me. Yeah. Uh, I'll be I think they will, yeah. <laughs> I think they will agree. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment which style do you think looks good on Tiffany? Because we will be reading all the comments. because. You know, we just want to see what's like the vibe if people come to the wedding. Let us know. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.